tried to kind of use those inner thigh muscles to compress on the preparation. So you're having, having the sense that your knees are coming together and your elbows come together, like the hydraulic sense of squeezing a hose pipe with your thumb and you're you know, making the, the hole smaller and the force of the water is greater and greater in that hydraulic system. You're trying to do the same sort of thing with your body where you're squeezing it through that one point and then expanding. So, so the last thing you want to do is just kind of step and like move through that space uh, kind of freely. Yeah? You want to squeeze through that space. So from this point, you want to squeeze, squeeze through that space, then open up to shoot up. Squeeze through that space and open up, yeah? Squeeze through that space and open up. And probably what that will look like is, is, is this kind of dialing in on your stance. So like, you know, if I want to squeeze, so heel pivot, squeezing into that point, and then opening up. Heel, look at the rotation, opening up. Heel, pull off you. Heel, pull off you. Do you understand? Yeah, so uh, try to be a little bit more connected through your stance, rather than just making the last bit good. Making the last bit good. Making the last bit good. Yeah, that's not so, not so kind of, there's, there's very little you can do with that. Like, rest is about polishing your technique, constantly polishing it, making it better and better. There's very little you can do with a technique like that. What's that? That's one point. Second point is, when I first kind of practiced, um, when I first started kind of doing karate, John Sensei was, was about as well. We, I remember Yamaguchi Sensei, I remember Tori Yamaguchi Sensei training and teaching in York, at York University. And, uh, you know, he, and it was something that my instructor used to do as well, and it kind of really kind of cemented in my mind when he did it. This is back. Uh, and he was teaching corporate statue with your heel off the ground. Then it's something that I've always done and continue to do. Generally, as a training mechanism, so like I wouldn't maybe perform, I'm not that performative, but generally speaking, as a training method or when I'm just kind of practicing and working on that, this is a really good kind of training tool. Like, and originally that's how coconut sash used to be. Well, originally coconut sash would like to be all studio and it kind of got short to so it became a little bit longer and this became a little shorter and connected. Uh, but still the heel was off the ground. And so try this sometimes. Try it now. Try to you have the feeling that you could, you could have a, a uh, sheet of paper easy side, side underneath, your, uh, underneath your, your, your heel. And so it's just the ball of your foot. And then all of a sudden, coconut sash Focus that, which means standing with your weight on your back leg, is that. Do you understand? So, so for me, okay, so for me, this is coconut starch. This is coconut starch. This is coconut starch. This is coconut starch. But this is never coconut starch. Do you understand? Okay. And, by, and by having your heel slide off the ground, or even just the sense of it being off the ground, all of a sudden the dynamic, the structure of starts changes. Thank you.